This is a video inventory of 76 Leicester Street for the next academic year students of 2024 to 2025. I can confirm that all smoke alarms are working, all windows are operational, and the property has had a full professional clean. And before I head in, uh, you've got your food caddy just out here, recycle bin and waste bin to the left there. Uh, looking at your front door, it's in a good condition. You do have a little Batman sticker on the uh, window at the top there. And there are some paint marks to the uh, step. So as we come on in, I'm just going to focus on the carpet. Again, there are some uh, light marks at the doormat here. You can see there are some paint marks near the uh, a radiator and a few marks as we walk along. Uh, you have got your notice board just here. Your property's HMO license is located just here. And a few other notices you should give a read through. Uh, your walls have been freshly painted, I believe, over the summer. So they're in a good condition. Just a few light red marks to the right wall here. As you can see, you have a fire extinguisher at the end of the hallway. Uh, I believe this is a, it's an AFF foam fire extinguisher. Uh, these are to be used in emergency situations only. Please do not uh, misuse them. And we're gonna start off in the bedroom immediately to the left, just here, and focusing on the carpet as we walk in. You see there is a paint mark uh, just there by the Hoover and some significant marking underneath the bed. I'll try and get a better angle. So some clear marking underneath the bed there. We'll focus on your mattress first. So looking at the underside, you can see there is a rather clear mark to the top of the mattress just here. And some very light staining to the bottom right We'll zoom in on these a little bit. I'm just going to flip this over. And looking at the top, uh, there does seem to be a faint mark uh, just here. Uh, the wall behind the mattress is in a good condition with no marks. Uh, your window is operational. I'm just going to uh, close this now. You do have a chest of drawers by the window. Some slight marking to the top right here. And there seems to be some extra bedding left in the bottom the drawer there. Uh, then to our right, we have some more drawers in storage. You can see the uh, inside of the drawers here are stained. And the top here is also quite marked. Storage space just underneath with a sliding door. You have a couple of shelves above, both in good condition. And the walls are also in a really good condition. So as you can see, you've got a mirror just above your desk here with no damage. Slight mark into your desk in places. I'm just looking at your storage here. Uh, your study chair is in a really good condition with no marks and you have a waste bin just underneath again you have another full length mirror uh, just on your uh, left wardrobe door with no damage and a pink uh, henry hoover left just here inside of your wardrobe is in a good condition 
just very slight marking to the bottom there. Right, moving on through uh, to the other bedrooms. So uh, just in this hallway here, you have a, a shoe rack and a toilet mirror. Well, I'm gonna say my phone ran out of storage there, so sorry about that. Now uh, you do have a full length mirror and a shoe a rack just here. Just show you the walls as we walk through this hallway. Uh, they seem to be in a good condition. Okay, so we turn left just here. And focusing on the floor, there's a clear paint mark to the floor there. Again, underneath the chair seems to be some very light marking. Focusing on your mattress, there is some marking to the underneath, um, just here. I'm just gonna flip this over now. The top side seems to be in a pretty good condition uh, with no marks. The wall just behind where the mattress was, again, appears to be in a good condition. It does appear that you have um, some hooks just left here. Uh, your chest of drawers has some uh, chipping to the right corner. Inside, nice and clean. Uh, a small heat has been left by your bed and your table does have some light marks. There are a few um, screws sticking out of the wall here. Your study chair has got some marking to the seat and to the arm there. And some paint marks to the back. Clear marks to the back of your wardrobe. Your window is operational. I'll just close this now. So I'm leave this here. And with that, we'll move on to uh, the bathroom, which is outside. So focusing on the floor, so you walk in. Some light paint marks by the toilet. peeling to the window so as you can see the window again is operational so we'll go from left to right starting off with at the wall just by at the door here so there is some peeling uh, you do have some storage with some mirrored doors, uh, both of which have no cracks. Your sink has got some uh, paint marks to the basin, uh, but no cracks. The toilet sheet shelf just here, both in good condition. And your toilet is in a good condition, but the seat is stained to the back there. Uh, your bathtub is nice and clean with no uh, damage. And your shower has also been cleaned. Moving on 
and three to the downstairs section through this door. Focusing on the carpet, you can see again there's some paint marks as we go down. Uh, quickly look at the walls here. Some staining uh, near the bottom. And we'll start off uh, in the shower room just across. Quick note, there's a foam extinguisher again on the left here. Some clear paint marks to the shower's floor and it seems to be peeling um, by the step here. Um, this is a bit another bedroom to the right here. There's some staining to the a door. Let's go focus on the floor. We we'll start off with the mattress, I've left it face up as the bottom has got some markings to it. So you've got one just here and a couple uh, just here. Uh, looking at the wall, seems to be in a good condition with no marks. There is a slight peeling to the lining of the uh, drawer there. You can see some peeling to the inside. Your desk has some very light marks to the surface. And obviously your study chair here has some quite evident paint marks. Separate uh, lounge chair here and with some light mark into the seat. And as you can see, your window is operational. You have another mirror tucked away just here with no damage and a four length mirror on the wall with no damage again. There's some clear markings to the back of your wardrobe. Just quickly shut your window now. And we'll move on through to the kitchen and living room area. Focusing on the carpet as we move in, again you can see clear marking. Your landlord has left you uh, some wine and a note just here. Uh, there are some uh, paint flecks all over this sofa from what they've repainted. Mirror on the wall with no damage. Um, there is some um, peeling to the second two-seater sofa here. And again, some paint marks on this one and on the right. So I'm tearing to the fabric of this uh, chair just here. Just to show you this window is operational. Uh, just in here you have your fridge um, and some cleaning 
items. The top shelf here is uh, cracked. There seems to be no cracks in the second shelf here and a small one uh, in the bottom and a slight crack to the lining of that middle shelf there. Moving on through to the kitchen, starting on the left side, you have a kitchen cupboard just up here. A microwave has been nice and cleaned for you there. Uh, your toaster showing signs of rust. And the counter is in good condition. Um, looking at your washing machine. You see it's nice and clean to the inside. The counter on the right has a few tiny marks to it. Um, but barely noticeable. The hob is nice and clean, showing some signs of age, especially to this one here. The extractor fan as well has been cleaned. And look at the oven, obviously nice and clean to the inside. So the focus on the walls quickly. Now you can see that there are no marks of the walls. Just quickly head through uh, towards the garden. On the left you have a water closet. Uh, there are some paint marks on the door and the floor just here. Uh, no cracks to your sink. The back has no damage. And now there's the toilet seat the top there. Moving on through to uh, your back garden. You have a second food caddy uh, just out here. Go ahead upstairs to the last three bedrooms. So focusing on the stairs as we move up, clearly some paint marks. And we'll start with the bedroom at the very top of the stairs here. Stain uh, just by your chest of drawers. Uh, looking at your mattress, the underside seems to be in a good condition. 
And looking at the top, again, no marks. Uh, the wall, again, just a slight mark there, uh, but no other damage. We have a chest of drawers. In good condition. Your desk has got a paint mark to the surface there. Chair slight mark to the corner. The mattress in this room again seems to be in a good condition to the underside. I'm just going to flip this over now. Looking to the top side, it appears there are no marks uh, here either. The wall seems to be in a good condition. I believe they've all been painted since the previous tenancy. And we'll start over in this corner here. Chest of drawers are in a good condition. You can see the top's nice and clean with no damage. All these drawers have been wiped out thoroughly and there doesn't appear to be any staining. These shelves uh, have no dust, but are looking a little worn. Uh, full length mirror just here, and no cracks. Surface of your desk is in a good condition. This drawer does seem to have some peeling to the bottom. some marking to the back of this chair here. Waste bin to the right there and your wardrobe's in a good condition. Moving on to the final bedroom. Starting off uh, with your mattress, as you can see, top side's in a really good condition with no marks. There are some paint marks to this chest of drawers to the left.
desk does have some marking and your chairs are in really good condition. As that concludes the video inventory for 76 Leicester Street, all that leaves us to say is we hope you enjoy your stay with us here at Beauvoir and we wish you the best of luck with your studies. Take care.